Today we are talking all about the Dollar Tree solar lights and all the incredible ways you can put these to good use. One of my favorite ways to use these is to actually pair it with one of the Dollar Tree pots or planters. I'm taking a couple of these. I just feel like they are like some of the best styled with a little grid around the edges. They look higher end. So for this, I took just two plastic planters that I had on hand and I'm painting them this gray color just because gray fits more of my style. And I thought it would go better with the black solar lights as well as some black rocks that I'm going to put down in here. But I am using chalk paint. Now, I personally would have rather taken these outside and spray painted them but it was a very cold windy day so it was very hard to get anything to dry outside so I decided to do this inside but if you do let chalk paint like really dry and cure to the plastic it does have a harder time chipping off so painted these completely let them dry filled them up with some styrofoam and then taking my solar lights and just kind of putting them at different height levels down inside the planter so for one of them they do come with stakes so for one of them I did put it on the stake so it stand up tall and then for the second one I did completely remove the stake so that it would kind of like nestle underneath it and these would look really good together. For the first one, I did struggle a little bit getting the second one down in there because I kind of put it too close to the edge and my styrofoam corner broke off. But for the second one, I didn't struggle at all. I just added hot glue to the first corner, added a little piece of rope to it so it would just hold it a little bit better. But the second one turned out a lot better. And then I didn't want to spend a ton of money on these on decorative rocks to fill in the bottom that you're not going to see. So I just picked up rocks out of my driveway, filled the bottoms of these up, and then took a bag of one of these fun like black polished stones and put it down on the top and one bag was perfect to cover all the top you can't see anything under it these are like heavier so they're not going to get blown around very easy but these are going to be the perfect little lighting pieces to set on your outdoor like staircases or around in dark corners they really add and produce a lot of light Another favorite hack is to just check your local thrift store. Pick up an inexpensive lamp. I found this little mini one that I love so much. It was only three bucks, so an incredible deal. And I'm going to cut the cord on this. My daughter was actually in the room and she thought that I was doing something wrong, so I told her to never do this. But I wanted to trim the cord because I'm just going to be setting this outside on like a side table and putting its own little solar light inside. So you're not going to need any plug-in or cord. And I just trimmed it down as small as I could. You could fill in with hot glue and touch it up on the paint if it bothered you but I'm just going to turn it towards the back. Now the shade was a little beat up but it's going to be outside and I knew the weather was going to eventually knock it over so I wasn't worried about it being perfect but I put the lampshade on there and it held nice and tight, filled this full of hot glue and then added in one of the Dollar Tree solar lights. You want to put this in a place that it does get sunshine but this is such a quick like five minute hack to add extra lighting into your patio area and it just looks so beautiful a little bit at night. So if you don't even have a lamp, you can actually DIY your own out of plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree. So I put this together and I just love it. It's one of my favorite DIYs ever for outside, especially on the patio area. So for this, I am just covering the top with some painter's tape because I need to leave that clear so the sun can charge our solar light. Painted these black. I feel like it was such a high-end like chic look. Glued the light on top of a smaller bowl. Now I know this wasn't going to just free stand there very easily, so I did secure it with some nautical rope just gluing this nice and tight to give it a stronger base and then glued the top right over the light you can see that it does poke through the clear so this is going to charge out in the light and this also is an incredible idea if you want to put one of these together for your outdoor and it looks so super nice and I just love the coziness that it brings at nighttime. Thank you. 
using the same method, I put together some fun lit up mushrooms that look really good and magical out in a garden area. So once again, just taking some bowls that I liked from the Dollar Tree, covering the tops with some painter's tape, trim the excess away so I'm getting the perfect circle. But for this one, I needed the little polka dots for the mushroom. I didn't want to paint them because I thought it would be fun if the light was coming out of them. So I just took some painter's tape and did a couple of layers and cut out some like oblong little spots for the mushrooms and then kind of doing the same thing for the smaller ones. You could use like some of the little yard sale tag stickers from Dollar Tree. That would have been a lot easier. I didn't have any so I'm trying to DIY me some little circular stickers. These ended up working. I just put painter's tape on some wax paper and trimmed these with a little circle die cut but um, you kind of get the same effect. I did a couple of different shapes and sizes. I felt like that really added some character. Painted this like the brightest red fun color that I could get and then glued these on top of some solar lights. I usually find not to get too many years out of the Dollar Tree solar lights, but for something like this, you can easily pop off the top, put it on a new one year after year, and just enjoy these every spring and summer season. So you can add solar lights to any bouquet or outdoor floral arrangement that you have. So for this one, I thought it would be fun to make my own arrangement. I love these spring flowers with the greenery at the bottom. I feel like they're such a nicer quality, especially for Dollar Tree quality. But for this, I'm using a Dollar General box, or you can construct a box out of Dollar Tree wood. But this was super easy. Picked out my favorite flowers, stuck it down in some styrofoam, and then you could dress this up however you like. I have these little home stickers from Walmart. So I just stuck those down on the front and then you can put your solar light inside of it and it's really going to light up and dress up more of your outdoor space. So even the smallest, most simple little solar lanterns can be up to 10 bucks at other retail stores, but you can pick up any jar that you like from Dollar Tree as well as a Dollar Tree solar light, pair these together and have the cutest little lanterns to set out on your patio area. So for this, I am using a solar light that is quite too big. It will fall down in the jar if I just kind of push it in there. So I had this fun idea to take a little small strand of beads, glue it around the solar light, and it's going to create like a little ledge that it will set perfectly down on top. Now you can glue these down in place or just set them there. I added extra glue for security so the beads wouldn't fall off, but these work so perfect. One of my favorite things because they light up so much outside and they take less than a couple of minutes to put together. Another fun little lantern idea is taking a taller glass container, all using Dollar Tree products, as well as another solar light. This time, instead of the wooden beads, I'm using a little bit of nautical rope, twisting that around the top so it's really going to set on top and not fall down in there. And then you can put anything that you would like down in this jar, dress it up, play around with the colors. I've even made seasonal ones, so I've made some for the fall time with some little pumpkins and acorns down in there. But once again, picking out my favorite spring flowers as well as some white rocks, arranging it down in the bottom of this container and then adding in my solar light. And it's just another easy way to add in those fun spring colors as well as enjoying some cozy mood lighting. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Please leave me a big thumbs up before you go. Make sure you are subscribed. Let me know which project was your favorite and what you want to see next. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.